Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be comparing chimichanga and a burrito, steak and cheese. So let's get started. Did I forget to mention we're doing this as a frozen burrito and frozen chimichanga right here. Uh, this is a very popular brand that you probably see in the groceries all the time. I like to just eat this like as a little snack or something like that. Remember everything in moderation. If you want to know how I'm able to eat things like this and still stay healthy, Remember, you can comment below or just watch my vegetables and fruits and whatever the blending that I usually do. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So this is the burrito of Posada steak, green chili, Monterey Jack cheese. This one is shredded steak and cheese. So it's pretty much almost the same thing, but th this is just the burrito. This is the chimichanga. So let's look at the nutrition facts really quickly. We got 300 calories in one burrito and we got total fat, 12 grams, saturated fat, 4 grams. Cholesterol 25 milligrams, sodium 590 milligrams, 360 carbohydrates, protein 12. And, and then for the chimichanga, we're going to have 350 calories. We got 17 grams of fat, 5 grams of saturated fat, 400, 540 milligrams. That is actually fewer sodium than the burrito. What? How is that even possible? But anyways, we got 11 grams of protein. Whoa, this is even fewer protein than the other one in 36 grams of carbs so yeah let's see we're going to compare the taste between the burrito and the chimichanga we're going to air fry these two in the same container and then we'll see how it tastes like all right but before we even attempt it we got to drink our servings of vegetables and fruits here this is how i'm able to get all my vitamins and minerals for the day for my entire serving and all i have to worry about are my macros which comes from either frozen food junk food or anything like that but in moderation we always have to count our calories in order for us to maintain our weight and still maintain my six pack and along the way so yeah let's go drink this up so here we go we have it right here obviously you can tell the difference between the burrito which is this one's lighter color and the chimichanga which is a darker color because chimichanga the outer exterior is a little fried and the burrito is just a tortilla wrap so that's the only difference between the two the 50 calories more less protein at least one gram less and this one is 50 calorie calories less so let's go this is in my air fryer we're gonna put it in again over here what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do i don't know if you can see it but this is about 350 degrees fahrenheit at 20 minutes on the air fryer this is the black decker air fryer you want to know what it is and that's it and we're just gonna wait 20 minutes and then we'll be able to bone up so we're gonna drink this before we even attempt to eat our junk food so that we don't uh continue eating more junk food because we want to be able to satisfy our requirements for our vitamins and minerals and stuff like that so let's go oh disgusting so what I meant about vitamins and minerals and consuming this first is like when you're really hungry, you want to eat something healthy first so that it kind of fills you up a little bit so you don't overeat the junk food. That's what I'm trying to say. So like, you know, I got two of those, um, the burrito and the chimichanga just waiting for me. That's around, uh, what, we got three, six, 350 plus 300. So that's around 650 calories from that. Um, if I don't drink this, I could easily eat like four of those, which, you know, goes over a thousand already and that and we don't want that so if we drink this we get a little bit full and then we eat the other stuffs to get our macronutrients in and uh, yeah we're good to go for the day you gotta always play it smart whenever you want to uh, eat in moderation you know you don't it, unless you really want to do things fast or you really want to get that rock hard solid six pack or like you want to really look big and ripped and stuff like that then you will probably want to eat even healthier than what i'm doing because um the way i'm eating it's more of a uh, something that you can maintain for the rest of your life i don't want to be eating clean for the rest of my life you know i mean like there's so many good food out there if you're gonna go travel and you're gonna try all sorts of food you know all different cultures out there and you don't have to worry about like Oh, am I on my cutting period or am I am I in my bulking period or like just take away the stress out of all this stuff and just remember to just eat things in moderation and you should be fine. All right, now we got it done. We're just going to take it. Oh, look at that. You know which one is the burrito and chimichanga, right? You already know which one is which. All right, we're just going to let it sit for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to transfer it over to my 
other pan. There we go. Flip it over. There we go. So if you still can't tell which one is which, this is the chimichanga and this one's the burrito. So we're gonna let it sit a little bit because you know if you eat it straight away after you you heat it up you, it's gonna burn you like a mother of goodness sakes you let's eat some cakes so uh, you just want to let it wait for a bit i'm gonna cut through the middle so we can have uh it wouldn't shock us when the liquid does starts pouring out and then hits our mouth and it really burns like seriously if you have experience eating something like this uh, it will burn you if you just go straight into it. So you just want to wait like five minutes before you eat it. And besides, you're going to pretty much let it cook a little bit more, I guess, in, in the inside. So, yeah, let's cut it now. There we go. We cut it. Look at the inside. Oh, my goodness. You see that cheese? Cheddar cheese goozing right out with steak inside. Let's look at this side. Oh, man. And how about this one? This one, yeah, you can see that cheese right there too. Yeah, They're about the same ingredients, and because they're the same brand, I expect them to be the same ingredients. So, yeah, let's dig right into it then. All right, guys, let's get started with this. Oh, man, I'm excited. So we're going to compare and taste test the burrito and the chimichanga. So let's start with the burrito one. This is 300 calories and uh, a little bit more sodium than the other one interesting that it is so here take a bite of this first oh that's hot if you want to know how it tastes like the sauce is very salty and the bread is very dry so it really blends in together so the wrapping not the bread or i mean it, it is technically bread right or tortilla that wraps around it is pretty dry but the 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 sauce that's in it is very savory so it it complements the the dryness of the tortilla although i did not get much um steak in here you do taste the steak but you don't you don't um you don't feel the steak when you eat it cuz i don't see any steak in this one it's just all sauce and cheese See, this one has white cheddar. It's pretty good though. I, I do enjoy it. 300 calories. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I would eat this. I, I could eat this every day. Um, as long as I pay attention to how many calories I'm taking from the fat and the carbohydrates and the protein. So always keep in mind about your macros. Otherwise, if you don't, you can easily overeat these junk food and then it will outweigh the benefits of what you do with your um, fruits and veggies. Oh yeah, I taste the steak now. Well, I feel the steak. That's more um, more correct term. It's very, it's very small. There's it, it, you don't you don't really get that texture of the steak. You know how I ate the chicken breast um, chicken bake before. You definitely know there's chicken in it. <laughs> this one, you kind of know there's a steak in it because you do feel this texture, but it's just so small, so little. You're really not getting enough of it from the burrito version. So this goes straight to the chimichanga version now. Oh man, this one has cheddar cheese, not white cheddar. I don't think it has white cheddar. So look at that. Take a bite of that. All right. Mm. Oh wow. These two are definitely different. They're not I mean, now that we know that that's white cheddar and this one is yellow yellow cheese, white cheese and yellow cheese, I don't know what you call the difference, but so you can definitely taste the difference between the cheese. You can taste the white cheddar from here and you can taste the yellow cheddar from here. And it actually makes the whole taste profile very different. 
Now, how about the steak in this? That's hot, man. So I tell you one thing, I feel like I taste more steak in the chimichanga than the burrito. Both are fine. Both are good. Now, the question is, is the chimichanga worth 50 calories more? Would I rather have chimichanga or burrito? That's the question. The thing is, these two taste totally different. Oh, by the way, yes, I do notice that the chimichanga does have fewer sodium than the burrito. So, the chimichanga has 540 milligrams of sodium. The burrito one has 590 milligrams. You can definitely taste the difference. That um, 50 milligrams of sodium, you can taste the difference. Because um, the chimichanga is definitely less salty. Yeah, if I were if I was counting my calories, I would probably choose the burrito, burrito version over the chimichanga. Even though the chimichanga might be a little bit superior in terms of taste, um, but the burrito version is healthier. <laughs> I don't know if you can put healthy in 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 this. I mean, you, again, this is only three hundred calories for one burrito. You eat two, that's six hundred calories. That's totally fine. Uh, just make sure you don't eat another cheat meal throughout the day so your next meal is probably gonna be a little bit more healthy uh, more like home cook kind of stuff that you know I, I, I have recipes on my channel that it is also good too but um, yeah so guys let me know what you think about this video uh, if you like the video like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye Jenny do you want this oh you want it? oh look at that she's so oh look at that